Doesn't matter who you are. If, he, if Messiah isn't doing mighty works because of unbelief, then we can't expect to do mighty works because of unbelief. And that can take place in an assembly, in a congregation. People may look to you and not see who you are in relationship with. Whose authority you're standing in and as a result hinder the work of the Father from manifesting through you because of their unbelief. It is for this cause that the believers are to assemble, have fellowship, gather together with other believers because when two or three are gathered together in his name, there he is in the midst. I'm hoping we are starting to see the value of coming together. If two or three believers come together, Messiah is in the midst. If Messiah is in the midst and he is in the midst of the believers and that gives, that's the fertile ground for the work of the Messiah to be accomplished. But if you fellowship with unbelievers and you don't fellowship with believers then you are in an environment of unbelief and Messiah is not doing the works in an environment of unbelief you can talk all day long to your friends to your family about the wonderful works that Yeshua did but if you are not showing them the works if that's your fellowship you're casting pearls, you're casting seeds of knowledge. And the kingdom of Jehovah is not in word, it's in power. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14. Be, not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. This is talking about relationships. Who are you hanging around with? You can't pray one moment in Yeshua's name and then in the next moment you hide in that power and that authority. You're not doing anything in that name because you're with your friends and your friends don't like it. You're with your family and they're not interested in hearing it. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion have light with darkness 